Nézzen így is volt, hogy az association posted its biennial elections for its executive body. As NRA is a non-profit organization geared towards inspiring you to spend by developing the creative and problem-solving skills both on a regional and international scale. Joining us to speak about the recently held elections and the future plans of the association are Dr. Ricardo Lee, chairman of the association, and two newly elected directors, Ethan Santan, program director, and Anthony G. Tlal, volunteer director. Gentlemen. Oh, very own Anthony. <laughs> welcome to the gym. Welcome. Yeah. Nice being here. Nice being here. Nice being here. It's really nice to be here. Oh, welcome back, my dear. So, can you share with us the overview of the SANRA and its role? Yeah, I think um, whenever, I'm asked, whenever I'm asked a question, my mind leads me back to 2017. Mm -hmm. So, 2017 is when we actually debuted in the United States, team only. Mm -hmm. And it was just four of us. Mm -hmm. So, it's me, really Jeremy the Henry, Xavier Shaw, Jeremy Lapsky. Okay. The very first, you know, first. Before that, we just had robotics as a, uh, a potential research project, mm. and we wanted to make it into something better. And so the opportunity came where we were invited to compete, mm -hmm. and so we went to the, to the United States. Um, first day when the team got there and they saw the 200 countries all over the world, mm. they panicked, <laughs> mm. right? Because um, coming from a small island and representing the world, and then you are in these large countries, it could be daunting, that, you know, they're, they're, they were surprised. Mm -hmm. But after the first day would have passed, they moved to the second day and they competed for the first time. Mm -hmm. St. Kitts and Nevis on the map, they had a, a large you know, television showing the ranking and they realized St. Kitts was third in the world. Mm -hmm. And I think when, once they saw that, mm -hmm. their whole mantra changed. Mm -hmm. And then you know, the, 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 the momentum was developed and they become focused. And that is when we decided uh, that we must expose the other young people to something um, like this. And so leading from that time, we have, would have represented St. Kitts in um, Mexico, Dubai, Geneva, and, um, and yeah, yes, it's, <laughs> see Singapore don't, coming don't, don't out. Singapore coming out, <laughs> yes. And um, you know, in, 29, in 2019, we decided we're going to form a robotics association where we want to have uh, more of the young people get more exposure and also to look, take the STEM field a bit more serious, mm -hmm. um, not just to travel, but also to form an organization where they can have fun, they can explore and find their true potential. And um, that is why we're here now. So we're able to partner with um, H, H &A law firm and we're able to form the association, put the executives in place, and then here we are now. Our objective surrounds a number of, 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 of programs, actually. So we look, we, we, we focus on after school uh, robotics program, we focus on the international robotics events, we focus on the OECS um, program that, that we're actually working on. And that's something that we're excited about. So we're not just within St. Kitts, we're also operating within the OECS um, um, region. Okay, good stuff. So we're going to move on to the new executives. So how long have each of you been a part of this association? A mem each member been a part of this association? I'll start with Hitton. Um, I've been a uh, part of this association uh, from, I believe, March of 2020. Oh, okay. so that's like three years three already. Years, okay. Yeah. All right. Mr. Jitla? Um, well, I can't really, I don't remember the date. <laughs> But like I, I'm thinking, like 2018 when the so when idea came up, started, yeah, yes. when the first startup, yeah. I was there as a like a normal member. Okay. But then when I saw like all the elections coming up, I was like, oh, let me, you know, let me <laughs> see, test the water, see what I could do. <laughs> oh, oh, so you tested the water mm -hmm. and you were successful. And uh, Doctor Neil, how long yes. have you been a part of it? Oh, um, I'm the founder, so I've been. I've been there from the inception. Yeah, from inception. Okay, good stuff. From inception, you know. Fun, uh, for, funnily, the the program came out of our capstone project. We have a capstone project at the college where the students are required to do a research based on what is happening now in the world. So whether it is artificial intelligence, okay. um, humanoid robotics, uh, any one of those, and so. It was within that program that you know the concept of 
stepping into robotics came out, and that was from 2016, actually, right when that started. And it was started by you know students want to be a, have something like that at right. around the world. Nice. Awesome. Nice. And speaking on being elected, what was the experience like during the election period? As a matter of fact, it was a <laughs> it was actually um, a, a moment of on the on the edge of the seat, mm. you know, just watching the votes coming in and seeing the various groups some some at one point you know one is ahead and then another point one is below um we have close to 300 members in the wow. association so it's a very large association um and so we were watching the votes and that was the exciting thing um, oh i must say also that you know this is the second set of directors the first set their, their tenure would have come to an end so all directors serve for Two, two years, okay. and um, the executive director served. And so the first set of directors, they attended the company, and then we had a new election. Some persons were actually um, appointed, appointed based mm. on the position that they hold. Okay. So what does being a part of the association mean to each and each of you? And um, not just as members, but as directors and executive officers. Richard? Actually? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I, I, can, I can go first. Okay. Um, so, being part of um, the St. Kitts Nevis uh, Robotics Association, it's really, um, it's been a, a really fun experience, you know, seeing um, and working in an environment where it feels like a, you know, a well established organization. It, it feels cool that they've, you know, create these uh, new projects that really help like benefit like a lot of people and in the, in the fields of like science, technology and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really like, you know, excited to lead this position as program director. Uh, likewise, but, uh, okay. So I think it's, you know, great. Being a part of this um, organization is one thing I didn't like, late, the late, the late meetings, but like, I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> can't do anything about that, but like, I can see why they're there. I can see why they're there. The voices need to be heard and to be honest, just great strides for the Federation. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Dr. Neil, it is fair to say that the organization is for youth. It is run by youth and that was the original intention. That is a perfect and a true statement, oh, right? Stuff. And a realistic sta statement. Um, we do know of organizations that really promote that kind of thing, right? But in reality, that's not the case. But for us, it's mm -hmm. youth run. Um, mm -hmm. We do provide training, for mm -hmm. sure, but they call the shots, uh, we guide them, and uh, we give them that kind of, um, you know, it's experience. We actually had a workshop where we are we, where we went to going to the whole notion of explaining to them what is the role of a director, what a director should do. Mm. You know, so we have um, a number of that. So and we and we find that the organization runs on a more of a twenty century level oh, when nice. we when we have the so they give their opinions. Twenty first century, right? When when um you know they give us you know their ideas, opinions. And it actually works. So I'm, I'm actually excited whenever we have meetings because I'm hearing these new developments and new ideas in how can we do this, how can we do that. Mm -hmm. And for me, whenever the idea of you know, bringing anything new on board, I'm like, okay, yes, let's, let, let's go. Mm -hmm. So I'm very supportive of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And funnily, most of them are coming out of the IT program at CFPC. Okay. So that is you know, a plus. You know, and I think it's, it's a commendable thing to have. The Clarence Fisher Brown College have an IT program of applied science, and out of that program comes forth an organization. Nice. I think that's a great thing, not only for the college but for the for the for, for the entire uh, federation. And anyway, it's Richard. Nice. I think this is doing great things. And the dressing, yes. guys. I noticed you're all <laughs> suited out, and Hitton, I don't see your pin, but is is this um, the dress that you? How should I say that you? Adapt at all times. Yes, when, whenever we are going to any um, interviews, um, if you have any official events, yes. So that's the general trend. Yeah, I have, I have a pen too. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't see you with your pen today. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So it's a 
trend that we've been doing because it's a holistic development. Okay. So the, 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 the pin is a very unique pin. Yes, uh-huh. so it's just right, uh, right. So it's yeah. unique. So yeah. surround St. Kitts and Nevis, you mm-hmm. have the STEM logo, science, okay. technology. So each, oh, so. right. So each, so yeah. each, um, image yes. represent one of the 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 the, 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 the state letters, letters so yes. oh, okay. science technology engineering arts and uh, mathematics exactly. so even though we are called a robotics association yes. um we're hinged on the principle of steam Ooh, yeah we we are uh, in addition to the pin back in uh, a couple of years ago um during the pandemic we actually had like a mask a black mask with the oh, logo yes. on it yeah. <laughs> oh, but, so they all had the mask logo? Oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. so if you go back in the archives you will see <laughs> <laughs> so mr neil mm-hmm. what are some of the programs in development and i heard a little shoo shoo while you were talking about yeah. singapore <laughs> So okay, so we have a lot. Um, he is the program director, but I will, I will, I will attempt to. <laughs> so if I fall off, then he he, he will uh, help me along the way. Right. So we have immediately coming up. We are working currently with ECCB to have a summer program. So working closely with with, with that. So soon and very soon, you'll hear um, that um, announcement coming up. Um, we are scheduled well the robotics team, and I want to you know, explain it so we understand. So the Robotics Association is in charge of a, very, very, a set of programs. Okay. And so one of the programs would be the international team that actually travels. Yeah. So that team is scheduled to travel to Singapore um, the first week in October, I think it's around the third. Yeah, nice. Six. The six? Okay. I believe. Okay, all right, so around, around that time. Um, we have not selected the team as yet. Um, so you know, we're just in the interim that the public know what's, what's actually happening. So that, that's a major um, program that is coming on stream. We are, we are currently forming the OECS Robotics Association. So we have um, members from some of the OECS countries already. And so again, we're going to provide more information on that. So we're working very closely with um, some of the countries like St. St. Lucia, Montserrat. You know, to see if we can get this association. Now, that is a very important project because we want to extend our wings, all right? Because when we speak to know of the region, we realize that what we have here is a unique yeah. um, development that we have here, and not only the Oasis in the Caribbean region. And I would have, I would, I would go as far as saying that we are one of the most organized, um, legally registered entity that operates like this within the within the Caribbean region. And so uh, we have a very big role and responsibility within the region. So those are some of the immediate programs that we have um, come, come, come in. Oh, um, I just, I looked on Hitten and I remember one. Uh, <laughs> the, we have next week, the 31st of May, we'll be having our capstone project at the Marriott's, right? Marriott. At the Marriott's. And um, that's gonna be at 8.30. That event is where we invite a number of private sector entities to come and see the presentation of the IT students from the technical division, right? Those hardworking, smart students who are working on projects and research, right? So the capstone, the, 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 our position on capstone is not just to write a research paper. Yes, you write the research paper, then what? That's the question. So for us, that then what would be to develop the product. So if you're writing a research paper on how to create um, arms for persons who have lost their an arm or lost leg yeah. amputees then you have prosthetics then you have to get the 3d printer do the research and create it and support it with, with the paper so we have that event so we are inviting all the private sector companies who play have space <laughs> for everyone you know to come out and see the students on the 31st of may 8 30 program is from 8 30 to 12. Okay, 8.30 a.m. A.m., yes. Okay, 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 good stuff. Anything else I had okay. to hit on, or that's all? Other programs. Um, so um, we would have the um, other programs would include um, the robotics after school program. Uh, we would have the uh, St. Kitts Nevis, uh, no, St. Kitts National uh, Robotics Competition, uh, OECS Robotics Competition, and we're working on the CARICOM one too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so we have those, and as well as the capstone, the competency competency based uh, capstone project symposium. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and for those persons who are watching and want to be a part of the Saint Kitts Nevis Robotic Association, how can they get in touch with you? 
Um, so we are heavily on, on, on social media. So we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Instagram. Yes. And so once you send a message out, we will, um, you know, have a word with the individual and, and get them in the association. Now the, our new director is Mr. Brandon Powell, our new executive director. And he, he has come on the scene with all guns blazing, as they say, right? And so he's organizing to actually um, ensure that we have our website running to get persons apply through the website. But for now, to get to us, just simply go on any one of those platforms, type in SKNRA and send a message and somebody will actually respond. Jitlal, I'll give you the last word time, sir. For persons <laughs> that want to pursue STEAM but they are hesitant, what would you tell them before we go? Yeah, you asked the wrong person because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, I'm the kind of person that would be hesitant, but like, um, just go for it. If you know you can like contribute something and you know this is, you have talent for this kind of stuff, just jump into it, test the waters. If you don't like it, then you don't like it, but majority of people will like it and they will find something that they can be a part of. You see, I asked the right person the question. Uh, yeah, the right person. Right person. <laughs> 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 <laughs>